Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, what we have here is just some beauty out on the table. Doing a little project. You guys may have seen in one of my lives that Rock Scale Design has made a Timascus, a Timascus backspacer for the Benchmade bug out. Just gorgeous. And look at the colors in that. Just beautiful. So today, I thought about it. There was a great suggestion in that in that live stream here a little while back. Somebody said, put it on the gold class bug out from last year. You know what? Great idea. So we're going to go ahead and close the blade. Safety first. Take this apart. We're going to use our Weehaw little stubby driver. This is a T6. And for the pivot, we'll be using a T10. So we'll go ahead and just take this apart. In the meantime... I want to know if you guys have any additional hardware or things that you've put on your knives lately. I know everybody's getting scales and other things. Um, one of the backspacers I took from, uh, not took, sorry, uh, but I took it off one knife and put it onto another was this red titanium and put it on this one with some Rogue Bladework scales and some red thumb studs from my buddy Adrian down in Australia. So, I mean... He's got all sorts of colors, so check out his website, rockscaledesign.com. I'll link it down below. Um, I've got the black one, titanium one. I've ordered a ton of them, so you guys have seen them. Um, if not, definitely check out my other bug out videos. I got a lot of those going. But yeah, I really like this. He has this for sale on his website. Usually puts up his new stock on Saturdays and usually puts the time up there. So if you check in like end of the week, usually has a list going of what he's doing, what he's putting out. Now I gotta separate these because the screw for the C-Tech inlay is much shorter than the one on the end. So kind of watching that as I take it apart just to make sure which goes where. Cause it's not very fun if all of a sudden something falls out later on. So yeah, anyways. Really happy with a lot of the aftermarket parts that I've put on my Benchmade knives and spider code and whatnot. And I don't know if you've seen this one taken apart, but pretty cool C-Tech inlay. I gotta be careful not to break it. And then the material underneath, that's the glow in the dark. And I just happen to have a nice little O-light right here. So got a little UV light going. You can see how all this turns green and glows. You see that? And it's mixed into the carbon fiber scales as well. So pretty cool. It's not in the C-Tech, but when it's over top of it, obviously it'll glow on that. So pretty cool overall, pretty cool knife. Loving it, this is one that I carry still, so. Pretty cool on that, but I just want to be careful taking it apart because it would be a bummer to break something. They probably don't have any replacements since they stopped making it at the end of 2019. So, okay, so we got the clip off. We got this side off. We'll head over to the other side. We'll take these off. And obviously, these have the barrel spacers in them, the blue ones. Kind of nice and shiny. We'll put in that Time Mask as backspacer, though, from Rock Scale Design. It's going to be a beauty. Looks like all of those screws, except for maybe this very front one, are gonna be the same length. So, it'd be cool if it was just those two because it'd be easier when you're putting it back together. Now, we'll see what happens when we do the placement of everything back together. Oh, that one's a shorter one too. Let's see what this one is. C-Tech there. I'm trying to be careful. I know the C-Tech when it's out by itself does get a little brittle. And that one's a longer one as well. So, okay. So the longer one looks like it goes in the front and the shorter one goes in the back. And it looks like this material came out with it. So maybe it's just a thin little layer of, oh yeah, look at that. Just a thin little layer of material on it, so, huh, okay, well, 
That's kind of cool to know and find out. Haven't taken one of these apart before, but there's your inlay that's milled out of the carbon fiber. And let's take this last one off and then we'll go to the pivot with our T10. Hopefully, no troubles after this. We shall see. <laughs> you ever get that feeling when you're like taking something back in a bag of parts? The goal is not to do that with this one. Pivot usually comes right out. Usually just has a little tiny bit of thread locker on it. And so we'll put that off to the side. I'll use this to pop it through. Just gotta be careful. I'll pull the access lock back a little bit. There we go. Pops up on the other side. I just don't wanna damage the scale at all. A little bit spendier knife to be rough with. So let go of the access lock. We'll take one scale off at a time. And usually these are so there's your damascus steel blade. So like it's still got some lube on that side, so that's good. We'll take out the short liners there. Let's put all this stuff out here. And these have kind of like a rectangle shape to them. I don't know if you can see that flat side there, so it keeps them from spinning inside the scale right there. So we're gonna do a little test fitment and make sure this lines up. Look at that. What do you guys think? Beauty at its finest? I think so. So let's go ahead, since we got one side here, let's go ahead and just put a couple screws in. And we'll just hand tighten them with the, the bit itself. Just want to test fit these just to make sure now this one's the geared one so it stands up just ever so slightly which I dig and I think that's now nah, look at that oof it's gonna look fantastic on this knife rock scale thank you so much these are amazing got some good products got them for a couple spider co's but Mainly some Benchmade bug outs and bailouts. And then they just showed on his Instagram the mini bug out titanium scale. So kind of excited to see what's coming from that. Okay. So let's put everything back together. Guess I didn't really need to take everything out of there, but hey, that's half the fun, right? And I will go back around and tighten these up, but it's good to just get them in by hand, kind of line everything up. Got those in there. Obviously, we can't put these in for your midliners until you're totally built out, so that is one thing that we'll get done. And I want to see if we can get, I guess we'll get the other side of the scale on first. That will help get the liners lined up. And it does help if you take the old barrel spacer off. There we go. You see these line up fairly well. We'll go ahead and put a little couple screws back in there. Hold those down. Well, I hope you guys have been faring okay with everything that's going on. Have some good giveaways coming up, so it'll be exciting to see. Put that one there. I know everything, since everybody's been kind of slowing down and closed down for a while, I know, it, you know, blade shows probably not happening all that stuff going on. There'll be a lot of interesting 
things depending on who's coming out with what and if it puts production behind certain things. Oh, this isn't going back in there. Let's see here. Doing it behind the camera is always a little bit more difficult. Let's see what we got here. I'm guessing when they build these, they probably have some spacers. Kind of helps. Let's just move that a little bit. There we go. I think it was caught on some thread locker. Now, the key will be, I measured everything up ahead of time, and it looked like everything was going to fit perfectly. But the key will be is if this blade fits with the washers right back in, no problem. So, wish me luck. We're going to put a little dab of blue lube on there. You're probably thinking it was going to be KPL, which I have that as well, but... I found that the blue lube lasts a little bit longer on, like, doesn't dry out as fast. The KPL um, dried out on a couple of my bug outs pretty quick. Easy to reapply, and obviously you get tons of it, so it's great. Same with all this stuff. But when I'm rebuilding it uh, on this one, I wanted to try the blue lube and see, kind of doing a comparison to see how long it lasts, so. Let's see if these will go in here. Well, we got one barely, so let's try the one. We may be cutting and pasting this video. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to grab a little index card here. So I can move that washer in a place like so and then we'll flip it over and we'll get this one installed here always helps to have like a business card or this one's a index card kind of get it going in there and I'm almost thinking that it's going to be a little bit tight because I tightened down the scales too much so we will find out momentarily oh there we go how much fun is this right first time taking apart the uh, gold class bug out so thanks for sharing it with me so both of them are in there we will do a comparison we want to put the flat side of the pivot on the bottom here and there is a flat part right there kind of makes it a d-shape little d-ring that's going to go up a little easier if i put it in from the other side let's try that there we go got the first little piece in now you can see in here just needs to be lined up a little bit. There are some cool little handy tools that people have from dentists and other stuff. I usually end up using, I'm still waiting for my secret tool to one day be assigned to me, but I gotta get a hold of the owner first. Find out if they'll release one to me. Cause that would be super cool. But I might have to get some of those tricky little tools like Nick has from the old uh, dentist. But just want to be careful not to do anything to damage the scales at all. You can see we're just lining that up. There we go. Some people build it one at a time. Some people like me just like, I guess the harder way to do it. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody's got their own style that kind of suits them. They make a, a D post that goes in there when they build them at the factory. It's kind of cool. Love to get one of those one day. But 
since it avoids your warranty, they're probably not super keen on letting those out of the building. Well, I'll leave a comment down in the section below. Let me know how long you think till it all fits together. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Almost all the way through. That last little bit. Just caught right there on that part of the washer, so. We'll just move that out of the way and it pushes right in and then you're flat on the pivot there good to go so we'll put this side in just to kind of stabilize it we'll rebuild everything real quick and then we'll get back into testing it we'll look at how beautiful this is and put our c tech inlays back in on this side I think we went, what, short on this end and long on the other? Hopefully that's what it was. I guess we'll find out. I think that's what it was. Either way, pretty cool. And I'm just totally, oof, don't want to tighten that too much. I want to go snap. Snap my C-Tech or something. That would not be fun. All right. Then we'll go over the beautiful glow-in-the-dark look as well. And we give you a little bit of glimpse of that, but... Probably, uh, I could probably use some other tools too, but oh, I obviously got these mixed backwards because that one just spins, it doesn't lock in. So it was opposite of the other side. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So one long, one short, but on each side they're opposite. Which is kind of weird. You'd think they'd both be like the front ones or the back ones, vice versa, but oh well. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on Rockscale Designs. Go to his website, check out all the colors he has. Let me know which one you want to put on your knife and your bug out. I want to almost, I think there's a purple one now too. You guys have seen my purple bug out, so. I can't wait until he makes them for the mini. That'll be sweet. Okay, so let's put this back on here. We're going to put the pocket clip back on. Let's tighten up this one really quick. Perfect. And if you're asking about the pocket clip, it's uh, laser marking. I've gotten that a couple times. Just had a friend of mine put a nice little pattern on there, which actually matches the pattern of the Dama Steel, which is kind of cool. So find yourself a friend with a laser. They're always fun. Okay, just doing a little bit of tightening on these screws to make sure they're set. Obviously still being careful around the C-Tech. The back side. Now, let's take a look at the knife. Oof, I still love this one, such a beauty. What do you guys think? And then with that Timascus backspacer, like it doesn't, doesn't give it justice, all the beauty on there, but look at that, all the layering, all the colors. Beautiful. It just goes all the way around. Flips down to the back. Really like this one. So, got the pivot a smidge tight. 
want to be a little more drop shutty for me. There we go. All right. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Check out rockscaledesign.com. Get one of these sweet little backspacers here for your knife. If you're looking for a red one, a black one, any of that for your knives on your bug outs, definitely check them out. You guys, keep doing something kind for someone. Have an awesome rest of your day and take care. Some bonus footage, you guys, I almost forgot. You guys want to check out the glow in the dark feature on this bug out. I'm going to check out all this glow in the dark awesomeness of the bug out gold class from 2019. There we go. Pretty cool stuff, huh, you guys? Pretty, pretty nifty stuff. But I want to turn most of the lights out so you can see that in the layering, in the liners. It's mixed into the carbon fiber. It's weaved into there. Pretty neat. Anyways, you guys, take care. See you next time.